National Science Day is celebrated every year on February 28 in commemoration of the discovery of the Raman effect by genius scientist Dr. C. V. Raman. The theme for National Science Day 2023 is Global Science for Global Well-Being. The theme indicates India's emerging global role and rising visibility in the international arena. This year, our school students conducted various type of science activities to bring awareness to people about the importance of science in our daily life and to encourage people by popularizing science and technology. We, the students of PDAV, must celebrate the achievements of our scientists and develop a scientific temperament to contribute to the growth and development of our country. Let's have glimpses of all these activities. Good morning everyone, my name is Dev Jairaj and my name is Sitanya Thakur, we both are from 6th standard. Today we are going to discuss about the disease, bad source and also we are going to represent our project detection before protection from bad source. Our invention is for those patients who are suffering from injury to skin and underlying tissues. In simple language, the bad source they are resulting from prolonged pressure on the skin they are very difficult to treat and take a lot of time to heal so we can manage the condition by cleaning dressing along with reducing pressure on by frequent changes in the position and my uh, my project is in sensor which sense when the patient's stripe gets wet first before showing I will show you the uh, parts of my project. Uh, first you can see the uh, render module and the buzzer and Arduino Uno. Now I will show you the 360 angle of my project. Now as you can see I will uh, connect the wire to the power bank. I will pour some water on the diaper. First, you can see it is not wet, so the buzzer is not beeping. When it will get wet, the buzzer will beep. Now, I will pour some water. Now, you can see the buzzer starts uh, beeping. Now, the nurse will came to know that the diaper should be changed. The coding part is done by me, and the assembling part is done by me. Thank you. Thank you. A warm greetings to everyone. My name is Akshay. And I Shrey. Of class 9th. We are going to present our project Medirubu. So this is based upon Arduino and it consists of motor driver, Arduino, jumper wires and many more. The main objective of making such a project is to provide aid to the persons who are at bed rest or disabled uh, to take their medicines. Actually, they can keep their medicines uh, in the container which is fitted at the top of this Medirobo. They can uh, connect their phone with this Medirobo and operate it after a while. This could be a big sucker for the persons who are, at, uh, who are suffering from COVID-19. 
So a MADI robot consists of a basket and it consists of a Bluetooth. So Bluetooth takes signals from mobile phone and it sent to Arduino. And Arduino, so Arduino sent signals to motor driver and the motor driver let the motors work. I hope you like the project. Thank you. Thank you. A cheerful morning to all. Today I just lean. I from Bhav. As we all know, we all live in big cities. People here are always in a hurry. Sometimes they forget to switch the light bulbs off their houses, offices and schools. It leads to a big amount of wastage of electrical energy. As we all know, electrical energy is very precious. If we waste it like this, we will not be able to get it in the future. In 2021, states like Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Bihar had faced a huge shortage of electrical energy. To prevent this wastage of electrical energy, we have made a project Electrical Energy Saver for the ATL Marathon on the theme of Environment and Sustainability. Let's talk about the principle. We have attached motion sensor near the door. Whenever it will detect any human motion, it will automatically switch on or switch off the bulb. This, this project works on the both short range distances and long range distances. We can also set the timing for which the sensor switch on the bulb or switch off the bulb. By using this project, we can save more than 100 watts of energy per year. Let me, let me show you its salient features. By using this project, there will be a mess of wire well less. Our project is well easy to, easy to use, cheap and energy saver. This project can be used by old people to enlighten the room during midnight. Uh, uh, I also suggest our Honorable Principal Ma'am to use it in our school premises and I also installed it in my room and it works successfully. Let me show you its 360 degree view. Let me show you its component. This project has motion sensor, 5 watt relay module, wires and bulb and bulb holder <coughs> and this is, is working first we have to attach motion uh, wire to the power bank then it, whenever it will detect any motion it will switch on or switch off the light bulb like this it will automatically switch on or switch off the light bulb thank you Do plastic munching grub exist? Yes, they do. We did an investigation on plastic eating wax moth, i.e. Galeria peronella. The investigation was based on the research fact that two enzymes present in the saliva of wax worm that eat wax made by honey, honeybees to build honeycombs. These wax worms can rapidly, at room temperature, degrade polyethylene, a common plastic. This breakthrough can help us to fight the major global menace of plastic pollution. Let's see some glimpses of our investigation.
Dear students, it is our responsibility to honor the great man and his invention by contributing greatly to the field of science through innovation. We wish all the science enthusiasts very best to enhance their scientific zeal. Thank you.